<laughs> Thank you. Here. Yep. And so everybody rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. All right. All right. Roll call, please. Mr. Bale? Here. Mr. Horton? Here. Mrs. Rennie? You're muted, Mary. Mrs. Rennie? Got it. Here. Mrs. Showerman? Here. Mr. Scatella? Here. Mr. Winarski? Here. And Chairman Shank? Here. Okay, that takes us to number three, the hearing of the public. Is there anybody here that would like to say a few words? If you do, please let us know. Uh, and your time will be three minutes because we are on a time crunch. Do we have anybody there? It's hard to see. No. Okay, is there anybody on Zoom that would like to say a few words? words. I think it's just us. So last call for uh, public speaking. Seeing none, let's move on. It takes us to number four, new business. So could we have uh, the first reading? And you can just do title only, please. First reading of ordinance number 19 of 2023, the first 2023 capital project fund budget supplemental appropriation of $445,765 and creation of a new line item for the domestic hot water boiler replacement project at the Erie County Prison. I will uh, look for a motion for a second read. I believe this is kind of a time sensitive issue. Um, we, we've been through all the nuts and bolts. And then once we get to the comments section, we'll help. if you have any questions for Brad, we can ask him. So this is just a motion um, uh, for making it a second read. So moved. Second. I have a first by Mr. Catella, second by Mr. Horton. Uh, any discussion on that? Discussion. Yes, sir. Yes, we are very brief. Uh, and, and it's just a reiteration of the comments I made at the last meeting of the expenditure of this size. And we've heard the background from Brad in the prison on how we've gotten here. Uh, but it's something of this magnitude, where we're spending almost a half a million dollars, should have been had some forethought. Uh, and we should have had this done in, uh, before us at budget time to be considered. Uh, this, is a, a, this isn't a small expenditure. Uh, and we should not be getting these type of things before us at this time. Uh, when it's first start failing, uh, we should be notified. Uh, it shouldn't be, oh, we have to vote on this or else the board or else we're done. And that's kind of where we're at right here. Make sure we go in the future. Uh, I'd like a little bit more leeway uh, as, uh, or vision uh, as to what's coming. We know this antiquated. It's, at, it's, it's been stated that it's at the end of life. Uh, it's not at the end of life and uh, that we couldn't get parts for it. And that's not just something that uh, happens in a day. That concludes my comments. Wow, that was brief. Good mm -hmm. job. Thank you. Anybody uh, else Anybody else got a comment before we uh, uh, vote on this motion to make it a second rate? Anybody else? Mr. Chair. Yes, Mary. Uh, I want to uh, just say that I agree with those comments. Plus, uh, just to point out, that is the purpose or one of the purposes of the three-year plan is to identify possible capital projects and, um, you know, needs, capital needs. So we're just going to have to look for that with the future three-year plans that they should be contained within it and maybe a separate sheet just to call special attention to that type of thing. Thank you. Okay, anybody else before the roll call vote? I don't see any hands. So roll call vote on just making this a second read, please. On the second, Mr. Horton. Yes. Mrs. Rennie. Yes. Mrs. Showerman. Yes. Mr. Scatella. Yes. Mr. Wynarski. Yes. Mr. Bale. Yes. And Chairman Schenck. Yes. 
Okay, so let's do a second reading and title only. Keep it short uh, because we've already talked about it once on the uh, ordinance number 19. Yes, sir. Second reading ordinance number 19 of 2023, the first 2023 capital projects fund budget supplemental appropriation of $445,765 and the creation of a new line item for the domestic hot water boil boiler replacement project at the Erie County Prison. So moved. Second. I have a first by Ellen, second by Mrs. Catella. Any other discussion? Mr. Chair. Yes, ma'am. Uh, again, just to acknowledge that the revenue line that we are supposedly moving it from is incorrect. Have we received any word yet what the revenue line should read? Yeah. Okay. I know that. Okay. Could you state that for the record? Zero eight zero zero eight zero zero one zero zero nine nine five zero zero. And again, I guess if we're going to state it into the record, the number that's in the exhibit you have today is the number we used back in September. Um, and we used that same number back then. And just to confirm again, 080 0080. 080. No, 080 080010. 010. And then the same as the, the number Correct. I have there. Zero. Nine nine five zero zero. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Paul. Let's make sure that it's right. Okay. okay. Is everybody good? No. Just for the record, one more time, what that number is. Zero eight zero mm -hmm. zero eight zero zero one zero. Okay. Zero nine nine five zero zero. Okay. Thank you. And then we'll receive an updated exhibit to add to. Yeah, right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other comments before we call for the roll call? Yes, Mr. Chairman. I guess since, uh, you know, we, we beat them up a little bit, but, you know, I am appreciative of the, the work that you guys do. And I know you try to keep stuff up and running and band aids and whatever. And, you know, I look at it, I run used vehicles and, you know, you try to keep them together for as long as you can. You never know when that is going to happen. I, I do appreciate that you're, you're working and trying to save taxpayers money and keep it going as long as you can. We'll work on the process of maybe identifying a little earlier, but thanks for what you do. Okay. Anybody else? Last call. Uh, I look through my computer screen. I see none. So roll call vote, please. Mrs. is Rennie. Yes. Mrs. Showerman. Yes. Mr. Scatella. Yes. Mr. Wynarski. Yes. Mr. Bale. Yes. Mr. Horton. Yes. And Chairman Shank. Yes. All righty. And just a footnote here as a follow up finance committee meeting on March 16th. Uh, we'll go through all that. And again, uh, next regular meeting of council is Tuesday, March 28th at 6 p.m. in room 117. That's maybe 114. No, 117. Sorry, my bad. I need to wear my glasses more often, but thank you. Any other concerns? Seeing none, I'll, t I'll accept the motion for adjournment. I'll, I'll take a picture for you. Well, I still want to look at it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate it. Keeping uh, the, the, the county.